This video is going to teach you how to play Binding Ties, an expansion for the deck building board game Moonrakers. Binding Ties is all about bringing more strategy and structure to the negotiation aspects of the game. A quick note before we get started, this video will only cover how to play the expansion, so if you don't know how to play the base game of Moonrakers, head on over to the video linked in the description. First, set up the base game of Moonrakers as you would normally. Then, give each player a new reputation terminal that matches their player color. Next, have each player grab a faction token matching the color of all other players but not their own, and place it on the zero space of the reputation terminal. Finally, shuffle in all new crew, ship part, contracts, and objective cards into their respective decks. Overall, the gameplay is roughly the same as the base game of Moonrakers, but with the addition of faction reputation. Players can gain faction reputation in a few different ways. First, the main way you gain faction reputation is by allying with other players. If you successfully complete a contract while allied with another player, you will gain one faction reputation point in that color on your terminal. You must be careful with your alliances, however, because if a contract is failed, all players on the contract lose one faction reputation in each of their allies' faction colors. You can also gain faction rep by completing one of the new contracts, which give faction reputation points in specific colors as a reward for completing the contract. If that color player isn't in the game, or it's your color, you may choose any color you'd like to gain a point in. And lastly, there are a few ship parts and crew that have special abilities that allow you to gain faction reputation. Players may spend their faction reputation to gain rewards. To spend a reputation, you simply move a token to the left. Rewards in the top row must be acquired by spending one single color of faction reputation, while rewards in the bottom row may be acquired by spending any combination of colors. There are 10 different rewards you can gain by spending reputation. In the top row, you may spend one to discard any face-up contract in the dispatch. For two, you may gain one credit. For three, you may draw a new secret objective card. For four, you may subtract two from any one requirement on a contract that you're on. And finally, for five reputation, you may gain one prestige. Remember, these rewards in the top row must be purchased by spending only one color of faction reputation. Then, in the bottom row, you may spend one to discard any ship or crew that is face up in the armory and replace it with another. For two, you may gain plus one action or plus one card while on a contract. For three, you may trash a card from your hand. For four, you may gain a bonus card by drawing the top card of either the ship part or crew pile. And lastly, you may spend five faction reputation to block an entire hazard dice while on a contract. Remember, the rewards in the bottom row may be purchased using any combination of colors. So for example, if I'd like to spend five to block a hazard dice on a contract, I might spend two yellow faction reputation and three purple. One last thing. At any time, a player may trade any combination of three faction reputation to gain one faction reputation of any color. And that about covers it. We hope you enjoyed learning how to play Binding Ties. If we missed anything, or you need clarification, or just want to talk about board games, hit us up on Discord and ask us there. Thanks for watching.